Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again and as promised in the last episode, I'm going to play as a bit of Tainted Lost this time around. I really enjoy Tainted Lost. We've actually got quite a lot done as him so far, which I'm pretty damn proud of. Um, what's what's the best path for us right now? Maybe... Oh. Uh. <laughs> the game instantly crashed on starting as Tainted Lost. I've never had that before. Let's... Let's try rebooting the game and see what happens. I've, I've literally never had that happen before, where I've started as a character and instantly crashed. I'm hoping that Tainted Lost isn't um, lost to the ether here and uh, is going to crash every time. That would be muy bien, very, very sad. Um, but let's, let's give it a go. I apologise for the black screen. You guys know it. You've seen it all before. It's fine. Right. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Tainted Lost, where art thou? Okay, this time it actually worked. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what... I don't really know how to explain that. Uh, but yeah, we'll play a Sainted Lost here. I, I think he's a, a fine young chap. He's very, very fun. I think he's probably my favourite um, character to play in the in the game. Really, really, like, good challenge. Better items. I think it's all a lot of fun. Gemini. Don't really know what to think about him. He's, he's reasonably powerful uh, early game, but he falls off pretty heavily late game. Also... Limited range means that we have to stay in a somewhat of a danger zone to effectively utilize him. Uh, maybe I'll go for this. See? Sometimes. Works out. Yeah, you have to sort of stay in the danger zone a little bit to use him. He does have, he does have a good bit of range, just it's just not crazy. Oh, dude, the money this floor is kind of crazy right now. Don't like you fellas. Not liking the rooms we're getting right now. Luckily this one isn't actually that bad. It looks pretty daunting, but I think with flight and stuff it's really not that big of an issue. I don't like it when it's back-to-back -back double rooms though. That's a little cheeky game, isn't it? Good thing is as well, the game, I think it does this on purpose. There's a lot of consumables over rocks in the early game. Because it's basically, normally you, you're not going to flight at this point, And it's going to try and make you use bombs um, to get some early game advantage. But when you've got flight, you get a lot of it for free. Real nice. Spare holy card this early on is absolutely amazing. Very, very unlikely to get one this early. So, really, really nice. You watch, will be another one in our shop now, won't they? But yeah, now we've got a, a tiny bit of safety if things go really wrong, which it almost did there because that beat are getting pushed around. Uh, shop. Okay, so we've got lost wallet. All shop items will act as if they are free. Picking up a shop item will remove a charge. Uh, yes, we'll take that for now. And then we will reroll this and try and get some good items. Tarot cloth is decent. Take that. Pokego isn't great, but it's free. Alabaster box? How does Alabaster box work? Here. I think Alabaster box is good for us, right? I'm not entirely sure. Queen of Diamonds? Ooh. Pretty good stuff. I'm pretty happy. Okay. Carry on. Let's go. Uh, actually, wait. One more thing. I might as well bomb um, these two while I'm here to get an extra item. Sadly, Mother's Love skipped us by there. Okay. Pretty good first floor. Bell Clapper's rather nice here as well. Of course, the stats do diminish over time. But I think the, the fire rate it gave us doesn't. Try and go for a small rock there. We got the holy card chance. It's a very low chance to get a holy card from a tinted rock. I think it's 15% chance, but we got it. I knew we'd get another one this floor now that we already had one. Sadly, we cannot double up. So having an extra doesn't really mean anything to us. Unless we get hit on this boss, of course, then it means quite a lot. But I'm hoping, based on my previous experience with this big old fella, we should be fine. Right, yeah, we will try and do a mother run here. Mr. Dolly is pretty good. If we get soul hearts, it's going to be even better. Hmm. 
The Black Heart didn't charge my Alabaster Box. Does it only work with Soul Hearts, or does the Alabaster Box just not work in the situation of playing as the Lost? I don't know. Whatever. Either way, let's go down to the next floor, I think. Yep, I think we're, I think we're ready to go. We're, we're, we're well set up here. We've got a good run in our hands. We've got Boiler as well, which is an XL Boiler floor. Um, a bit scary. Just because I don't particularly know the enemies on this floor that well. And also, ooh, the little buddies are fishing around. Them dudes. These little guys. They're so hard to see on Boiler. I don't know why they decided to make them, like, such a dark red when the floor's so dark red. It's not good. I don't like it. Good arcade. I don't really know how valuable these machines are. I mean, that's pretty good. I'll come back to you after I've seen my shop, to be honest. I don't, I don't want to go wasting all my money on that if the shop has something of value for me. I mean... Ah, I was going to say I should go to the Mirror Realm now. I'll wait. Petrified Poop is back again. Uh, it was with us last episode and it is back once more. Unsure what these enemies do. Very unfamiliar. I'm also not really sure why there's some bodies chilling. Aha. Okay, so there's ghosties that proc... I don't know where they came from, but there's some ghosties that are going to do some things. Just be careful of those little leeches on the ground. They will wreak havoc on us if we're not careful. Ah, oh, damn, this is... Some of these rooms are taking a while. More range is nice. Range capsules are uh, pretty good stuff. This is a room I really don't like. These guys shoot things into the air and they fall on top of you. You've got to keep moving. Makes life a little more scary. Golden Penny here is rather nice as well. See how much we'll get out of this. It's a tinted rock right there, I see. No soul hearts there. I'm kind of hoping for soul hearts just to see if I can fill up my alabaster box. I, I really want to know. Oh, we got this room again, which an annoying room, but really good for petrified poop. I like the noise these guys make when they're like, mm-hmm. It's like it has like a filter put over it to make it sound more in tune. Oh, really? I can't take a Baleful Heart as the character that unlocks Baleful Hearts. Come on now. Come on now, devs. You couldn't have could have made that work somehow. Meanie Burbinis. Take offense to that. Oh, we got a Viz. That's nice. Now, one problem is going to be the boss here. I, I really don't know what to expect here because... Okay, we actually got an okay boss for the first one at least. Thank you very much, Viz. That was very nice of you. Oh, dude. This Viz. This Viz just did everything right there. <laughs> Good item as well. So, see, now this is where the problem starts. I have no idea what this guy does. So far, our Viz has done a very good job of killing him. What the fuck? He moves so fast. Yeah. Dude, this guy is crazy. Thank you, Viz, for... If I didn't have that Viz, this guy could have killed me. But I lost a holy card to him. Annoying, but it is what it is. Oh, no. Viz got killed by the troll bomb there. Oh, we got Brimstone. Nice. I liketh the Brimstone. Got double dimes there, so money is in a real good spot as well. Okay, this is a good run. We still need another holy card to keep us safe. Um, I, I really don't feel comfortable without a spare, but we found a spare before. We can do it again. Found a spare before. We can do it again. Here we have... I'm just going to take the mystery item. It's scary, but... Oh, Reaper Bump's kind of ace. Because he can drop cards, which means that potential chance for holy cards is 
wouldn't say super high, but reasonably high. Okay, off in here. I think I'll just take Rotten Baby here. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that I did. Shop-wise, obviously Steam Sale is pretty good for us here. Buy the card. It's an Emperor card. I don't remember what Emperor does. If the boss wasn't defeated yet, grants one soul heart as well. Yeah. I could use it as a shortcut right now, but I'd rather just use it on the next floor to get the uh, thingy. We do have the bombs necessary to go to the mines. We need to grab our key piece real fast. Uh, where's our mirror room? I don't remember. Our key piece. You know what I meant. Our knife piece. Shush. I think it's this room over here, right? A little bit scared about going through the mirror here, but we'll obviously see how it goes. Ooh, we got... Is that lump of coal there? We got Yeah, we just got a lump of coal from... I don't even know what it was that we destroyed that gave us that, but... Real goddamn good either way. I hate going to the mirror room on the boiler. I feel like it makes the uh, screen real sort of murky. Hard to see. You did give me a card. It's uh, Lovers. I don't remember where I'm meant to be going here, I'll be honest. I'm hoping it's just this room here. Yes, good, good, good. Makes my life a lot easier. <laughs> okay. Back we go again. Through the mirror room. And like I said, I could just Emperor card to shortcut to the boss, but like I said, I'd rather just use it for a time that's necess like more necessary, especially because it's going to give me a soul heart, which will allow me to figure out how actually Alabaster Box even works. I'm fairly sure it just doesn't work, which is a shame. Got our piece. Make sure we go to the right floor here. Coolio. Penny's there. So we'll Emperor card here. Go straight to the boss. Try and get the soul heart. It worked. It did work. Uh... Thank you, Viz, for killing something instantly. I, I was thinking, let's stand on top of the um, thingies there, the the fight, uh, the lava. It's actually not a great idea. It can spawn some enemies that live in the lava. Burn heart there, obviously not very useful. Don't like this. I don't like the fact that there's all these coal rocks laying about. Okay, all good. Don't think I want experimental treatment right now. Lump of coal we already have, sadly, so that's kind of pointless. We'll get another one just in case it does something, I guess. <laughs> this is a gross room for us here. Good, more keys. Shop, unfortunately, yet again rubbish, because no holy card and a goddamn... Again, with the, uh, oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, again, with the active items. No soul heart, either. At least you know Alabaster can back, box can work now. I'm still befuddled as to why black hearts don't fill it, though. I kind of guess because it's meant to be holy, but still. It's like, they're basically the same thing. Come on, now.
I actually think emoji glasses might be pretty good for us here. Um, I don't know how it works with brimstone beam. Okay, it's good. Yeah. It can do some wacky effects. I have absolutely no idea what's going on with this room here. But I have a feeling this could be a recipe for disaster in this room. I, I just I have no idea what's going on right now. Okay, the rooms are good. We've only got two keys, but I do want to go in here and see what we've got on offer. Unfortunately, not what we wanted. Although... Uh, 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 uh. See, I kind of want to give myself back a holy card right now. Because I have literally no idea what the hell hit me there. Like, absolutely no idea. Like, was it supposed to hit me? Alabaster box, good, good. Oh, interesting. I didn't realize using it in this room would do that. Get a powerful demon that aggressively charges the enemy, slightly dragging the player along with it. The card has a chance to break when the player takes damage, allowing it to move freely. Okay, it's fine. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> it sounds horrible, but I'm gonna take it. I've just lost my holy card. I'm taking risks now, baby. Okay, no, this moves me way too much. I hate the fact that I took this. I thought it was going to be a very light amount. It's not. Kind of interesting that you can use things in there to do that, though. Ooh, we got a, a heart in here of some kind. <sighs> yeah, I don't, I don't know what got rid of my holy card, my, like my holy mantle there. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confused. I, I killed whatever enemies were in there and I still got hit. I mean, some enemies obviously do have on death effect, so it was probably just something like that. But it's just, it's always really frustrating when you just like, you think you're safe and you have no idea what hits you. Especially when you're playing a character like this. But yeah, taking this demon, probably a terrible idea, but eh, it's fine. Zero font there. Would have been good to find that earlier. Right. New spoon. Teleport out. Compass. Thank you. Don't even know what to think here. Is that it? Yeah, so that's good. What, what's going on here? Oh, I see, I see. Parasite shot and parasite shot. I don't know if having two parasites is good, but parasite with brimstone is good. No, thank you. I would rather not reroll this run, thanks. It's a really good run that I've probably ruined by taking the fetal demon. Shop, where art thou? There's just tears everywhere, it's great. To be fair, the, the field demon isn't that bad on a, on most uh, rooms. It's only rooms where it's getting really close to stuff that's a problem. I need my shop game. I need my shop. I really, really need to buy a holy card. I would find that extremely valuable. Or I need you to drop me one, Ghost Boy. You are giving me wisps, though, which is nice. Wait, where the hell? Where the hell's my shot? Oh, I've already been to my shop. God damn it, I teleported there straight away, didn't I? You fool. That's the first thing I did. Ugh. My brain. Melting.
Good, good, got him. Grant you a familiar... Wait a minute. Um, Familiar on death. If you have any item familiars, revive you and remove them instead. Becomes more powerful. Okay, I'd like to take this, but I'm going to take this because it counts as a revive. Alright, let's go. Oh my god. I, I don't even know what happened there. That's actually real good. Any any room that looks way too scary, we just spam the hell out of space bar. Empress is pretty good for the boss fight. Like that room looks scary, so spam space bar. No idea what this is. This is a completely new boss to me. This is the new Fiend Folio boss. Spam space bar. Sorry, you're new. I, you're, you're cool. I wanted to see you, but I can't. Puzzle piece. Oh my god, stressful. Please give us a holy card soon game. Oh, there's a, there's a bedroom. There's a bedroom. I don't know where we, how we get to that bedroom, but I want to get to it as quickly as I can. Oh my god. Why is this room not over yet? Sleeping in a bed gives us a holy mantle charge. Even if it's a dirty bed, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it does. Good. Okay, we're back in business. Somewhat. We are somewhat back in business. We also got the bed bug too, which is rather nice. Small chance to get that whenever you sleep in any bed. Champion belt. Thank you. Rather nice. Item room is here as well. Other things and active, so we'll take the random. Tractor beam. Pretty darn good. Boss is probably up through this room over here. These things will still fire even outside of combat. Take money where I can for my space bar if I need it. Got you, good, good. Knife piece, nice. Take this. Get this. Leviathan. Decent. What am I doing? Stupid. I used a bomb on it for some reason. I don't know why. Has this guy changed as well? Is this guy renewed or is this guy still the same as the old one? Okay, good. Use a lot of my money there. I should, probably shouldn't have. This demon's still dragging me around like a bitch. It's annoying the hell out of me, but hey ho. I'd really like another holy card before we get to our boss here, but we'll just see. We have the compass, I think. We have some sort of compass effect. I don't actually know what's giving us it. So many wisps as well. 
Oh god, these things create a lot of maggots. Oh, there it is. There it is. He finally gave us one. After all the souls he's collected, he finally decided. Yeah, this demon's pain in the ass. I really shouldn't have taken it. My bad. It's more challenge for me, I guess. Which makes me hard. Makes me cool. It's just sticking me to all the enemies. It's pain in the ass. Like I said, luckily he doesn't have crazy good range. So he's not always dragging me, but he is dragging me a lot of the time. Uh, we can't use Empress card, sadly. I'm loving the emojis plus brimstone. I never knew how good of a combo that was. I mean, who'd have thought? Guess I'll check in here. Ah. Right, boss time. Rotgut is not a great boss for us. He's pretty easy, but he has some attacks that I still to this day don't really understand. Luckily, we killed him pretty darn quick. Alleviated the issue. Good damage there as well. Unfortunately, nothing useful there. Um, we've not touched a book before, have we? So I don't think it's worth even grabbing any of those. Right, to the next floor. On to the last floor. We'll see how this goes. I'm not super hopeful. Um, I, there's a chance, but I'm not super hopeful. Yeah, that was a false start right off the bat. At least we know where the boss is. We can make an informed decision on where we're going here. So many burn hearts this guy's created. Sadly, we don't need any of them, but it's kind of him. All this poison away from me, please. Luckily, I think one thing that's helping us a ton is all of these wisps that we're generating at such a rapid pace are actually protecting us from getting hit by shots. So when shots are coming in, we're, we're, we're dodging them pretty effectively just by having an absolute army of wisps. Like the Grim Reaper guy here has just been insanely good for us. I lost a holy mantle there. I don't even know how. Oh, I think I literally just stood in the fucking... Uh, poison too long there. That's a real shame. That's a real shame. That that significantly lowers our chances now. I didn't realize I was stood in poison. My heckin' bad. Really grab the money that, that that's there. Oh, that, that, that's very frustrating because we were really close to uh, getting to the boss and having a holy card spare. Killed by something that fights through the wisps that I've been talking about protecting me. Right, we just got to go for it. Sadly, yep, yeah, we're not in the best of situations here, but we've got a lot of protection from shots. And I mean a lot of protection against shots. We got a lot of burn orbitals and a lot of wisps. So in that regard, we're safe at least. But in other regards, not so much. We are getting more wisps and stuff as we go here from Oh dude. Really? This attack like this attack is so rare and you had to do it. Okay, luckily not too bad. Still, more than I'd like to have taken there.
Basically just got a burn orbitals left now. Don't like where I'm stood for this attack. This will take care of a lot of our burn orbitals, sadly. Dude, my fucking, my little goddamn goober boy is bonking me around the place. Fuck's sake. He's dragging me. Dude, he's dragging me. Fuck you. Okay, I think we did it. I think we did it. Baby. Oh my goodness. Yes. That's probably one of the best tainted lost runs I've ever played. <laughs> that was great. We didn't have anything to particularly abuse mechanics. I think the only abuse we could really say we had was the Grim Reaper buddy. Uh, but that's just a good item. But either way, absolutely great. We even did it with a particularly bad hindrance. He got us hit once in that boss fight there. Very happy with that. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.